Good morning, everybody. Today is Tuesday, March 20th. Hope you guys are having a great start to your day. On this channel, I make reselling content. I go to thrift stores, garage sales, uh, estate sales, anywhere that I can find an item at a cheaper price to sell for a profit on eBay or Facebook Marketplace or Macari, all those places. Anyway, I got a few orders going out. I packed up a few of them last night, so I'm gonna go over those with you first. Uh, the first item is this Canon Sure Shot 90U uh, 35 millimeter camera. I paid three dollars for it at the Goodwill on Sunday. I listed it yesterday, and uh, it sold yesterday, like two hours later. So it sold for 19.99 plus shipping. The buyer paid 11.10 for shipping. Next up, I got these Nike Mamba Mentality Kobe Bryant sneakers. I paid five dollars for these at the same day that I got that camera at the Goodwill. Um, and it sold last night for a best offer of 40 bucks. These Kobe Bryant sneakers, they tend to sell real well just cause Kobe, you know, passed away and people want a slice of something to remember him by. Uh, I could have overpriced them, but I'm just not all about that. So the buyer paid 12 80 for shipping. Those sold, I listed those yesterday as well. And they sold, maybe two hours after the camera did. They sold right before I went to bed. Next up, I got this ER DVD season nine. I can't remember off the top of my head what I paid for these, but I paid somewhere around a dollar for them, a dollar, maybe a little more, maybe a dollar 30. Um, sold this one for 9.99, 50 pack of floppy disc um, for 22 bucks. I got that at the Goodwill bins for around a dollar 23. Um, and the buyer paid shipping on that, uh, eleven ten for shipping, twenty two bucks from a dollar twenty three, pretty good return. Um, I also sold this DVD here. I got this from the Goodwill bins for about probably probably forty something cents. Sold it for nine ninety nine plus shipping. It'll go out media mail two eighty nine. And then the last item I got going out this morning is these stone wash or acid wash uh levi's silver tab jeans that i got in that dumpster mystery box from flip the world this was a little disappointing honestly i had them listed for a lot higher and nobody was every time i got an offer it was for around 35 to 39 dollars or something like that so um i decided to end the listing and sell similar and I listed it at 39 bucks and somebody sent me an offer for 35 and I took it. So I got a dollar. Well, actually I got like six, 18 into each item that I got from that dumpster mystery box from flip the world. So I'll probably net somewhere around 19, 20 bucks profit on this item. So it's not too bad. It could be worse. You know what I mean? It's definitely a good flip. Um, and those items from that box are pretty much all gone now. I think I have about five more items left to go, but I'm well into the profits already, guys. So if you haven't got you a dumpster mystery box from Flip the World, I suggest you guys get one. So, so I got another sale, guys. I got these Jordan 1 Royals in a size eight and a half, pre-owned. Pre I sold these for 315 bucks. I also bought them for 315 bucks too. eBay doesn't charge fees on sneaker sales that are over $100. So technically, I won't lose any money on these, but I won't make anything either. The buyer did pay shipping, so I'm sure that they'll have covered enough of the shipping costs to where I don't lose anything on this deal. But I just wanted to go ahead and go over this with you guys because you got to be careful when you're sourcing items. You can't just grab a hype sneaker because you think it's a hype sneaker and you're going to make good money off it. If you're not getting it for a good enough price to where you can eat off of it, don't waste your time, guys. I grabbed these to help a buddy out and he made it seem like I was getting a good deal where I didn't do my research well enough. And I should have only paid about 270 bucks for these sneakers to where I would have been able to sell them for the price that I did and still make some money off of them. Whereas I overpaid on them. I shouldn't have did it and I won't do it again. That's just a lesson that I've learned and I had to learn the hard way. So I figured I'd share my lessons with you guys so you guys will know not to do what I did. So just a little food for thought, guys. Two more sales that I want to go over with are uh, I got this Sims 2. 
The Sims 2 Seasons with expansion pack uh, for PC. This is not a great pickup. I mean, it's not a horrible one either, but I spent 43 cents on this, I believe it was. And I sold it for $12 plus shipping. Also, this is a, uh, it's a microphone. It's for uh, podcasting stuff. I'll show you guys inside. Nothing fancy. Just a cheap Chinese version. Sold for $29 plus shipping. Sold for $29 plus shipping. So, I paid $7 for that. Probably around Christmas time. Maybe in January. And uh, had it listed for a little while and wasn't getting no offers on it. So, I dropped the price to $29.99 and it sold right out. I sold this Revereware 8 inch uh, 1 quart saucepan with the lid for $18.50. And I also sold these Carhartt pants for 15 bucks. I got a basket of these, 21 pairs. Um, I'll put the cost up on the screen, but yeah, I got 21 pairs of these at a garage sale for $35. So I'm so I sold these for 15 bucks. Not a bad flip. So in order to keep things totally transparent with you guys, I've decided to uh, start going over my you know, total sales and the numbers with you guys, you know what I mean? So that way you guys will know exactly what I'm making, what my cost of goods and all that other good stuff is. Number one, because I just learned how to do it all very recently. And uh, number two, you guys really want to know what the true figures that people are taking away, you know, at the end of the day are anyway. You guys don't need to know fluffed up numbers like gross figures and whatnot, you know, without taking away the fees and everything. So everything that you guys saw in this video, has a total gross sales of $633.80. Now, the fees that eBay took from me for selling these items is $52, and that's uh, ad fees, promoted listings, and whatnot. Uh, that's all those fees coming out of everything. Um, I spent $79.81 on shipping total. Um, and here's the killer, guys. 633 bucks. And 80 cents sounds like a lot of money, right? Sounds like a great day for, you know, sales overall. But what people got to take into consideration is the cost of goods. So this is where my profits get killed. $345.90 is my cost of goods. Now, why is it so high? Well, because the one item, those Jordans that I sold, I paid $315 for those. I sold them for $315 as well. So all in all, off that deal, I only made $2.80. And that's from the extra money that the buyer paid for shipping, minus my eBay discount. So not a great sell at all, but at least I did not lose any money on it. So, I mean, you got to take, you know, what you can get. You, get. you Sometimes you win some, sometimes you lose some. So this was not a winner, winner, chicken dinner, like my man Chris over at Flip the World says. And when you look at it, $345.90 for a cost of goods makes me want to go dig through the trash and try and find me some treasure. So, Chris, you're on to something, bro. Uh, so, net, the number that I take away at the end of the day, which gets deposited into my bank account for one day of sales is $156.09. That's what I made off of my sales in the last 24 hours. So all in all, it's not a bad day. I still made more there than I did at my actual job. So, and it's fun, you know what I mean? It was less than maybe two hours worth of work. I get paid $156 for two hours worth of work that isn't even work just to have fun. I'll take that any day. So yeah, man, that's pretty much all I got. I just wanted to go over the numbers with you guys, man. Um, follow me on Instagram. Consider checking out my Etsy store where I sell my Dixon Pickens merch. Leave the video a like, you know, comment something if you guys got anything out of this video. I'd really appreciate it. You don't have to subscribe, man. Just, you know, keep coming back and watching the videos, guys. So that's pretty much all I got for you guys on this one, man. Catch you guys on the next one. But until then, let's make this cash, guys. Peace.